Good news, flywheel has been resurfaced. You can kind of still see some clutch markings in there, but I mean, it ain't, it ain't bad. For 40 bucks, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. And they had it done in about an hour, so I'm impressed. Um, painting the center stack, just got the uh, IPD 15173 Camel. It's the best paint match color for the tan interior. Just kind of going over some things that are sun faded, um, bringing them back to life. I'll drop a picture of what that looked like before that. It looks terrible. And the, well, some more bad news. I guess it's bad news, but it's good news because it's going to get fixed and be better than it was. So I got into the trunk, never had a key for it, and it shut. So I drilled it out. <laughs> and I don't know if the other cylinder is in here, but I just popped that one in. It's a door cylinder just so it looks, looks the part. Um, anyway, so I was starting to look at the... Uh, the fuel sender um, yeah it doesn't look that great inside the tank is all rusted as well so the good news is the guy I got the motor from he has the gas tank and fuel sender and the uh, the fuel pump and filter module that sits under the floor plan there I'm getting all that from him so at least all that'll be newer rust holes start to look bigger every time i open this trunk so we should be good on that <clears throat> oh here it is it's the old setup i've got two brand new filters in a box over there so i'm probably just gonna grab that pump that he has slap it in here and then slap a new filter i have laying around um, and if both of those pumps end up working, so the one that he's given me from the end tank pump and then the one that goes under there, if both of those work, I'm just going to use them. I'm not going to bother buying brand new pumps because that's going to be like $200 worth of pumps. And if I bought another gas tank brand new, that's like 150 bucks, maybe a little cheaper than that. So I'm just going to go use for now. So it should be 50 bucks all together for all the shit I'm getting from him plus the two new filters I already have laying around for the fuel system. And motor's in the car now. Um, just got done painting those. They looked like this. Still gotta paint this piece. But just freshens it up a little bit. I might do the doors, I'm not sure. Like just this top piece here. Not 100% sure. Percent sure? Yeah, that's right. Dash, I'm not worried about. I'm just going to get that IPD tan cover they have, the hard plastic shell. <clears throat> Ripped out the radio that was in it because I have a period correct factory radio upstairs in a box somewhere. I'm going to throw that in and wire that up just to keep everything period correct. But the motor is in. Everything looks great. I still need to find me a LH 2.2 mass airflow sensor. The cut this off during the uh, extraction of the black block there, red black block, whatever you want to call that. And I just have to get a new hose for that. I was trying to make it quick and easy. O2 sensor. I cut this thinking I knew I had a new one, which I do over there. But of course, the ends of it are also cut. So I'm going to have to wire that in once I get this one out of this header. And then, what else? I'm gonna put the fan on. Um, but for now, I mean, there's no transmission in it, so she's wobbly. But the motor mounts are in there. Tighten the head bolts, that's all good to go. Put the new valve cover gasket on. Oh yeah, put the core support and everything back on, if you couldn't tell already. And as far as fuel lines up here, um, this car, or this motor, the guy cut it whenever he was pulling the motor out and I ended up breaking mine when I was trying to get this nut off here it was bending the rail on this motor and I was trying to avoid that and it ended up just snapping the nylon 
tubing going straight to it. So that's great. I'm either going to try to find a nylon fuel repair kit or I'm just going to get some uh, some fuel resistant hose and put it on this end, maybe about two inches up, clamp it down two or three times up to point this point, and then finagle this off and just attach that hose to here. So that should work just because I don't know how this whole barbed thing, you know, I don't know how all that works. But that's good. Um, I'm hoping this fuel pressure regulator is good. Someone's full sending it out there on the road. And then I think that's good. I mean, everything else is hooked up. Uh, I haven't ordered the new clutch yet just because I didn't know what I was going to do about the uh, pressure plate, not the pressure plate, the flywheel. And I'm still scared to see what's hiding behind the drain bolt on this M46 because if the tank looked all rusty like that, and I'm sure there was water in it when I was draining it, but I couldn't tell, but it was extremely varnished. That shit was stuck on my hands for three days and I could not wash it off. Um, and there was water in the oil. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be water, rust, oil inside this. If that's the case, I might try to drain it and refill it. If it gets grindy and it doesn't like that and it decides to kill itself, I've got another M46 I could throw in there. I just want to try to use this one, you know, screw it. Keep it as numbers matching as possible as I can, even though that's a B23 and that's a B230. Eh, it'll do. But need a new clutch and uh, pressure plate, put the new gas tank in, fix the fuel system, and I think we'll be pretty much done with this. Um, we'll get the clutch ordered sometime this week and I'm sure it'll take about a week ish or two for IPD or FCP or whoever I decide to order from to ship it out and then I gotta find that mass airflow sensor for a 2.2 and some other little small things but I think just getting the fuel system stuff and the trans back in it'll be good enough to crank over and see how it runs and then start dicking with all the little stuff because this motor was in my buddy's car and before he sold the car it kind of ran a little rough uh, we weren't sure if that was a sensor i mean i replaced all the sensors on the motor all the coolant temp and all that shit. so hopefully that'll fix it maybe it was a clogged fuel filter or something i don't know at least now all this is going to be brand new and it should be good to go Yep, yep. It's getting exciting now. So maybe in about a week-ish, I'll have an update for you on how this whole process is going. Maybe it'll be running by then. We'll see. But I'll uh, drop another video when we get there. So I went ahead and uh, ripped out this radio while that center stack was... The paint was drying on it. But... Instead of stopping at the center stack, I also painted the side panels, the top part of the door here, because it was all extremely sun faded. It looked pretty much like this. But I don't think I'm gonna bother with the bottom half. Um, painted this whole section here, painted the top. I didn't go that far back. I just kind of stopped like right here, just to where the cover stops, just because this was faded. And I just wanted to touch it up a little bit. And it's, it's looking pretty white back there. But I'll throw in a clip of what it looked like when I first got the car. Big difference. <sighs> got all the way up under there. Got the side. Just freshen it up a little bit. Got that new radio in. It's not wired up or anything. Just because the wires that come off this radio have like four or five wires on it. And the radio that was in here had like tin so i'm gonna have to find a diagram on this factory radio because i think this radio was in an 81 car i had and i only had two speakers from factory or something like that something weird and oh this fucking dash pads not sitting right that's bothering me oh oh because it fell down in the speaker hole that's why 
There you go. Good enough. But yeah, anyway, there was only like four wires on here, so I'll just have to figure out what wires go to which because it's not like a black, red, and yellow. They're weird colors, so I can't really tell which is ground and which is power. So I'll get that wired up eventually. Just make it look nice and stock. I got the short throw shifter in. Not really, just the shift knob stuck on it when I was pulling the trans out. So that's just my uh, bug keeper outer. Painted that trim down there. Also threw in the 2.2 uh, ECU and the relays down here. Uh, you can see a spot I messed up here. Screw it. Can't see it when you're right here, huh? Nope. Then it don't matter. And that seat, uh, I could probably use a cushion. You know, it ain't that. It's 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 sagging. It's all right. It's better that what was in it, right? See, now this is pissing me off again. There we go. But I'm gonna go pick up the uh, the new gas tank and the pumps and everything sometime today, and throw that in there. And there's the old one, 2.0. Hopefully I can get that stuff in today and maybe it'll run today. I just don't really want to start it without a transmission behind it just because it'll wobble a lot. But new flywheel, you know, everything's going to plan so far. I got to fix that mirror. Solid. Starter fluid test one. Exhaust is banging pretty hard. All them rubber bushings are shot. But she ran for a second. I was using this for uh, for cleaning shit off. And of course, right when I need it, I'm low as fuck. And I ain't got enough to let it run. But she ran. Stupid problem on my part. Uh, after cranking it over, I realized the timing belt was slipping off. It was pretty much halfway off and I kind of walked it back on. But I went down there and felt the crank pulley and I guess I never tightened it, tightened the crank bolt, it was wobbly. So I took it off to make sure it was still in time and the uh, keyway on the crank gear snapped. So I have to buy a new crank gear with the keyway so the pulley will line up. Which, you know, it's no big deal. It's like 60 bucks and I can buy that when I buy the clutch and Minor setback, but at least it ran, even if it was for a second. It ran. It's all right. I ain't that mad. I would use the one off here, but the B23 is a different style crank. It's got the weird kind like that. So, sucks, but it'll be all right. More new parts.